I think it's going to be a very skeptical American public about taking the vaccine, and they should be. We can't trust the president uh, and take his word and take a vaccine that might cause harm to us. If and when the vaccine comes, and it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. Let's just say there is a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? Well, I think that's going to be an issue for all of us. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? We will need to have access to the vaccine results so we can make our independent assessment to make sure that Donald Trump's uh, fingerprints are not on it. You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. Is the vaccine safe? Uh, Frankly, I'm not going to trust the federal government's opinion. And I wouldn't recommend to New Yorkers based on the federal government's opinion. And the question of whether it's real when it's there, that requires enormous transparency. Would you trust that vaccine? There's very little that we can trust that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. We cannot take for granted this process will be free of political influence. I don't trust the president and I don't trust the FDA. If Donald Trump can't give answers and administration can't give answers to these three questions, the American people should not have confidence. You're going to say to the American people now, here's a vaccine, it was new, it was done quickly, but trust this federal administration and their health administration that it's safe? I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump. How confident are you in the approval process of the FDA right now? How confident am I? Uh, I'm not that confident. Yes, I would be hesitant, but I'm going to ask a lot of questions. You're going to need someone other than this FDA and this CDC saying it's safe. You've got to make all of it available to other experts across the nation so they can look and see. So there's consensus this is a safe vaccine. Uh, What I'm worried about is that there's some sort of October surprise and that there is a pressure put on the decision makers here to announce the vaccine in October of 2020. We're going to put together our own group of doctors and medical experts to review the vaccine and the efficacy and the protocol. And if they say it's safe, then I'll go to the people of New York and I will say it's safe. But if Donald Trump tells us that we should take it, I'm not taking it.